location bad. A typical affluent person has a couple million bucks and they're getting ready to retire. Invariably, 70 to 80 percent of their money is going to be in IRAs, 401ks, because that's the easiest and the most convenient place for people to save. The next bucket that people will have will be that after-tax bucket. And then obviously in the Roth IRA, HSA, that's where you want all the aggressive investments. At Creative Planning, John, you know how we do this. We talk to families and we say you want to really have between five to seven years of your spend rate in bonds. And that's really to let yourself go through some of these economic cycles that we're living through right now. You know, not an exactly wonderful time where the market's choppy. Let yourself be able to turn the news off, not listen to what's going on, not listen to the war stories, not listen to the banks failing, but be able to live your life and know comfortably that you've got five to seven years of spend rate to get yourself through that economic cycle. You want every penny of those bonds, you want to hide them in your IRAs. Sure. That's the worst tax asset that you've got. If you have more money than you need, Roth assets giving to the next generation are the best things in the world because they're tax-free. But the second best asset you can give to a next generation is after-tax assets because, and I say this tongue-in-cheek, if you forget to be alive, the federal government and the state government pay all the taxes on those dollars, and the recipient of them gets them tax-free. So in essence, it's almost a Roth if generation behind you spends it. Sure.